he's from Bermuda, and that's Umberto. A lot of names here. <laughs> a lot of names. Umberto, by all accounts, though, has been a pretty impressive storm. To space we go, it's really quite a shot to see. Um, from the International Space Station, it was shot by astronaut Johnny Kim around 9 mm -hmm. p.m. last night, and you see the lightning associated with Hurricane Umberto, it's kind of a quick hit, but we've stopped those stills. We could maybe drop the banner. Yeah, perfect, right? Now you see how the center, the eye of Umberto is just lit up. Umberto rapidly intensified into a Category 5 on Saturday. A storm of that magnitude really does make a significant dent in the steering flow. I only bring that up because over the weekend, we talked about that steering flow with the National Hurricane Center director, Michael Brennan, and for clarity, this was before Amelda was named. Now that it's still basically south of, of the Bahamas here now, even now, it's going to give uh, Umberto time to move north more quickly or more quickly than it is, and it's going to break down that high-pressure ridge and allow what's eventually expected to be Amelda to turn very quickly out to the east uh, towards Bermuda. I'm not going to say that a breakdown is good, but sometimes a breakdown is good. Mm -hmm. It's good to just... Have a cry. Um, but the <laughs> high pressure that could have, in theory, steered Amelda to the southeastern coast, as you heard Brennan mention, is going to break down. So we have these two systems, which by all accounts have created a very jam-packed, a clogged western Atlantic. But as quickly as they clog, they're going to escape fast and be helped out by the steering patterns and flow. But these two systems just... Um, crisscrossing, interacting, having an influence on one another. I don't think we can technically call this a Fujiwara, but without a doubt, there is a, a, an influence. Um, the proximity of these, if they were a little closer, we would maybe see that Fujiwara, but it's really just Imelda finding the escape route. So we have it here, Marissa, that ridge of high pressure, feeling the influence from a mm -hmm. Category 4. I don't think that ridge mm -hmm. would have felt an influence from a Melda, Melda. right? Mm -hmm. It would have been more that trough. And, and that's the other complicated thing about a steering pattern with tropical cyclones. You're, you're playing with all layers of the atmosphere, mm -hmm. and depending on how deep or high a tropical cyclone is in the sky, you have different factors that play into mm -hmm. the ultimate steering. Here's Amelda, we don't have it labeled, but we do have Umberto labeled, and yeah. that's eventually going to be picked up by the trough and taken out, but that's only after the ridge of high pressure right. is pushed aside. That's what made the forecast for Imelda so complex. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're forecasting a tropical cyclone, you have multiple variables. This was even more complicated because you had a developed hurricane yeah. that was also going to be influencing it. So to see the evolution of this forecast uh, and the various models, you can learn a lot by not hanging on to just one run of yeah. one model. Um, but yeah, I think this is Umberto kind of acting as like the big brother, bringing along the young brother, yep. saying, let's go let's, this way. Let's keep doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you say don't focus on one model. Admittedly, I have really been intrigued by the Google AI. I knew you were going to say it. I, you're going to say it, I, yeah. Is it, a, is it well ahead of our, our time? I, Could it be something that really is latching on? And there's just not, there's not mm -hmm. been a ton of investment in this yeah. product yet. Yeah. But you, you consider how well it's done, mm -hmm. staying ahead of the game, not just for this, mm -hmm. but I've, and the points are taken that we've not had a, a significant storm, mm -hmm. yeah, like along the Gulf Coast or yeah. something like that, but I don't know. The, the AI model I agree. Has been it's impressive. been it's been impressive to watch, and yeah. it's also anytime you get some a product that's new and exciting, such as artificial intelligence, and it's influencing pretty much all avenues of life now. It has been interesting to see how the forecasts have evolved for so that's far true. everything it's been well used for. It's been used for.